watchingcomplain.com. We're here to talk about Lost in Space Season 3 in its entirety. We're not going to go into what happened in each episode because I will tell you right now, this is a lot like uh, Star Trek Discovery, if, if you know what I'm talking about, where it's just like a lot of shit happens, but they just gloss over it later on. Yeah. Yeah. Um, did everybody watch the whole series? Of, Not the of whole this? series. I have two shows up to go. Okay. Um, but you don't care too much about spoilers. I can't. He doesn't care at all about the show. No, That's why he went to the cookies. <laughs> that happens on the entire series. And it made me laugh because I was thinking going into it, as soon as season two ended, they announced season three would be the last one. And I was yeah. thinking about, is this the only Netflix TV show that I can think of that wasn't unceremoniously dumped? Like I know Sensei was unceremoniously dumped and then they gave it a, a thing later, but they wanted to do another season with Lost in Space. So like it was optimistic enough, but it's like, yes, this is going to be the final season was well reviewed, but like the it takes so long to get going only to announce that yeah it's 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 wrapping up like it was funny to me because it doesn't really tell much of a story at all I feel, uh, I, but i feel like they took multiple seasons and pushed it all into this season but then again it didn't yeah. matter because i like the see i liked the most actually in the beginning when the children were like stranded with with smith that was interesting to me but they didn't do anything um, with it and then her going back to get um, what turns out to be her father like that. And you knew right away, like, I'll say I was a casual viewer of Lost in Space. I didn't watch the first season that much. I watched my dad. I never saw a full episode. Second season, I watched episodes here and there. This is the first one that I saw, even though I wasn't con ever confused because the plot is simple enough. But um, yeah, they don't do anything with it. Um, I agree with you. So it's like, is this just underwhelming or, or something like it's a super expensive middle tier show is how yeah. I described it. That, that's yeah. the hardest thing of it is it feels so expensive and so elaborate. Yeah. When With at the, the end of every greatest acting, <laughs> but at the end of every episode, it cuts to Will and the robot. Oh, this is all about you and my, you and me. Everyone else is going to go with just you and me, right? Just call it the fucking Will and robot show. Like, yeah. they're the only characters that matter. Everybody else is just fucking cannon fodder. I think that's where they were kind of going with it at the end. I'll be right back. Uh, Rob, you haven't seen this, but, like, there was a lot of, like, pointing towards Will and the robot going off on their own. Yeah, that's what, I've, seen, I've seen up to that at the end of an episode where Will's like, all right, everybody else is going to leave. You and I are going to stay behind. And that's no, but, the last, last no. episode I saw. Are you watching more of it, or can I say... Uh, you can say I, I don't care if it gets spoiled. Basically, at, at the end, they've defeated whatever they need to defeat, right? It's yep. that big like ending where the conclusion, like saying, Oh, this is where this person's going off to. Like, they're all around a, a, a table going, just celebrating, right? Mm -hmm. and, and it pretty much says, uh, that Will and the robot are going off now. They're like, I'm not getting your permission, I'm just saying, Can I go? <laughs> even though i'm of age i can pretty much decide them for myself so will oh, yeah, the, are you talking about judy we're talking about will and the robot and how oh. they've got like this thing set up where they could take it to another show just yeah. them but this whole third season has just been will and robot hey we gotta get our shit together oh no you and i gotta leave like it i feel like that is all that has happened of all these shows. And granted, I've been like, oh, look, Parker Posey's on screen. All right, let me fucking go and do something else because Parker Posey makes me sick. Uh, and then, Why? Because of her oddly shaped head? Uh, because of watching her previous work and a lot of the indie movies she's done, her, I mean, every part of Blade 3 was abysmal, but she was the worst part of it. Every That's time right. I see her in this show, Blade 3. Trinity. Are we talking about Smith? I've yeah, never heard, uh, yes. Agent Smith, uh, I've never Smith. heard of Blade 3. <laughs> Is yeah, she Zoe like Smith. super short? Uh, maybe. No. I, I just find her an annoying actress. Um, Oddly, I she, think she's from a... Superman Returns. I don't know her from anything. Oh, else. that's right. I forgot she was in Superman Returns. Uh, she, so if you watch Blade 3, 
Blade Three is an abysmally bad movie to watch. She is the what's one, it called her, again? Blade, Blade Three. Three Trinity or Blade it's, Trinity? That was oh, the one Blade with Triple H. Okay, yeah, yeah. Well, it's that's it's she is she is, she is the worst part of it, and it's a bad movie. Not She's Pat the Noswell? worst part of it. Not the direction or writing. <laughs> you trust me. Watch it and then come back and let me know what you think of Parker Posey. I mean, but as, uh, she, as far she, as she, society she, has told me about Blade Trinity is all indicates that I shouldn't watch it. <laughs> She, she's boring in this show. Everybody's for me. Everybody's boring in this show. You know who I like? I have I have one note. Uh, like I had one note for the entire season. <laughs> um, no, I had That's two. I have how two. Good this show is. Um, the I, first. I, I still enjoyed it. That's the bad part too, because it looks like everybody is trying hard. Everybody is putting the effort in. I wouldn't say the actors are, but <laughs> behind the scenes, it yeah. looks like there's a ton of effort. <laughs> That's going into the show, and it's just so mediocre, you know. I um I put that the soundtrack choices, particularly an early one in episode four where they play Tom Sawyer by Rush <laughs> in episode six, is just like bad. Like they just don't fit. They're not yeah. like, and they're they they aren't diegetic or they're overexposed. So I think like there's no taste to the. Can you imagine like? This, like, you can tell that this was, like, I don't think that Netflix would greenlight this show today. This was back during their spending spree, and they're like, yeah, we're just going to redo Lost in Space, and there's no hook to it at all. It was pretty much, we have a following, and uh, it'll make enough views that we should just do it. Let's burn. You know what they should have done? Uh, (laughs) And I thought of this when they were, as they were doing it, is that um, they should have done the inverse of what they ultimately did, where um, uh, I thought Will Robinson should have been white and the rest of the family should have been black. Um, And and it would have been like, would have made sense, like progressively, the way that they do it is mixed. And now that we see it enough where it's like, they like, it's it's like they're checking a box or something. Yep. I like Judy actually the most. I have in my uh, I have in my notes uh, Taylor Russell, aka Judy Robinson, in is, is indeed very yummy and babelicious. Is is what my notes uh, say. We know what and Will's into. <laughs> uh, I was watching because I was, and it's funny because I was watching uh, Escape Room Two, which is terrible that yep. she's in um and i didn't i didn't think that way but then like she finally seemed like an adult in in this one and then i checked and we're like the same age so i didn't clue uh, in the same person <laughs> yeah near today yeah well because she's like a decent enough actress like she's not ever showy which is good um it doesn't uh, my... like, necessarily make them leading material i remember watching escape room the only notes on acting that my dad had were that the guy who's in escape room is really annoying and he's like he's terrible can he die <laughs> yeah he's, he was bad don't don't you like penny's character though she's like oh my god penny Every, is everything, like... everything bad is happening also you're you're my a good boyfriend. looking guy want to be my boyfriend they had nothing for her so they had stupid. nothing for the boyfriend character either. oh that was, was just like, like we don't know what to do so we'll just leave it <laughs> and at this Let's point just have a rivalry. Had... okay she had two um, boyfriends and like, hey, I'm always rooting for the underdog and stuff. And I know that guy has been there since. And I usually hate like a whole jock characters. But in a show like this where there's no personality, I'm just yeah. kind of like, fuck that guy. It, like, it he, very does, he doesn't forced. deserve it at all. And he's super awkward and he makes me uncomfortable. So have her go after the jock and have that guy die. Let her be like her own person. It, she doesn't need anyone. That's, but that that's, was, that's who Judy is, not Penny. Let her be the lesbian in the show. Do you guys remember? That's who Judy is, remember, not Penny. I wish that they gave Judy, I wish that they gave Judy a love interest. My eye is interesting. Uh, but I remember, I always think back to the 1998 movie, which was one of the first movies that my dad got on DVD. And I remember when I first checked, like, oh, I was yeah. old enough to read reviews and stuff. And I checked that that movie was just abysmally reviewed. But I constantly think back of, like, I loved it. compare, you know, was, John Robinson to movie. William Hurt or, like, oh, that, or, you know, um, uh, you know, Gary Oldman as uh, Smith or in Heather Graham as Judy, Lacey Chabert as Penny. Uh, and then that kid, the Haley Joel Osmond ripoff is... Uh, Dr. Do- uh, uh, Gary Oman's Dr. Smith has one awesome line in that movie that I remember forever. 
uh, where he sets up the robot to uh, self-destruct. He says, give my regards to Oblivion. Like, that's a cool fucking line. Oh, and then yeah, I watched yeah. Par- Parker Posey. I'm like, yeah, remember how good Gary Oldman was? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that movie dethroned uh, Titanic. But when I think about that, like, because I watched that movie, I would have been like five or six or something and to me when i think of science fiction i think of that movie lost in space like it's about spaceships flying in inner several stellar travel and planets and and getting lost and and out there like this has the resources to tell whatever story that it wants and it can't tell any story at all um and how many times do they like have the opportunity to get together and they just decide to separate for no reason like tell a story with them together as a family and it's fine um so phil how, how do you feel about how it ended i, I at that point i didn't care why didn't they kill <laughs> none of it mattered like it, it, i just because he's got to go on his own adventure yeah they, the they, they left it open cares. for like his adventure is over the show is over will and robot show that's what they left open or in, like in a five form years a new cast like the star trek with a will and robot show. like it's annoying I, there is nothing more annoying to me for a tv show when they're told it's time to go and they don't um go listen to the beat of that drum like this show is over okay there's yeah. no setting up for this there's nothing worth saving pay off every single character you they, they only did do? that in case it was popular enough that they would do a tie-in or a there there's always hope but like i think of what oh, christopher well. nolan says of like you never save a good thing ridley scott said the same thing you never save a good idea you just you use it all because time is precious and the audience is is precious like this movie was this show was so lucky to get three seasons in a huge budget all the way through and it like none of the characters have any personality the, at, at the everyone should have died yeah the and robot should have won rogue one because everybody could have ever and it would have served this show so well the villain even though it sucks and none of the, every robot looks the exact same that i can't tell <laughs> like who it's, it's is the transformers Scarecrow. methodology just make them all look the same so no one knows what the fuck is yeah. going on they they just have a slightly them, orange gro- slightly glow, glow. <laughs> Give it, yeah, give them all a different color. Make the bad, the bad guy guys red. are auburn. Well, they and did. The good guys are light blue. It was hard to tell. Yeah, I agree. Totally. Yeah, and it's like so. What <clears throat> happens as for what I remember, I think it's still on the episode that Rob watched, where it's like he confronts Sar in person, and then Sar stabs him in the chest, which would instantly kill him. Surprise, surprise. Oh, now that I know the ending, darn, I'm not going to watch it. That's not the ending. Walks away from <laughs> it's totally not the ending. <laughs> now, that I, now that I know how it might end, oh, darn, I'm not, I'm not going to finish it. But did you guys find that the first uh, bit of this season was, like, interesting with them on the, and then having to get off that they at least had somewhere to get to? Could care less about the parents and their plot. But with the kids, that was, even though it was overdone, I'm like, that's fine. The only um, thing I'd say that I was interested in was, holy shit, Will grew up. <laughs> As I was watching yeah, the first season, puberty. I was like, Jesus Christ, that kid is fucking I liked how they two. saved the end of, they must have filmed something at the end of season two and then done that. And then, like, I liked how they did that. I think it was just something they had anyway. And, like, they didn't plan it that way. Yeah. Well, it's the problem with TV now. It's like, because uh, my dad didn't even really want to bother of, like, he wanted to start the show right away. I'm like, Dad, it's been two years since the last season came out. And it's like, a lot happened. Don't you want to watch a recap? There wasn't a recap available. He's like, no. And yeah, I, I had to do it. I thought there was a recap. Was there a recap? I believe there was. Yeah. It didn't play before mine because maybe oh, I have an old version of the app. So I looked on um, YouTube and I did one of those, uh, what do they call it? Like Loop or um, whatever those popular shows that are famous for their channels that are famous for their recaps. He watched that. And he's like, it's explained it well. So he was in. But even in, me as somebody who watches enough stuff and doesn't care, um, I'm like, okay, I get it. But it, again, it does nothing with the history of these characters. Really. No, I, it's like, oh, I'm evil. Like in the same way Loki is with with Smith and stuff. Her motivations don't really make a lot of sense. In, in a year, you're going to be like, I don't care. I don't remember. Exactly. Now, now you're like, I, watched, I watched the recap of season two and I was like, I don't remember any of this. <laughs> and I watched season yeah. two. 
<laughs> I, I watched it and I remember uh, I remember the trailer for season two and I remember it coming out on like Christmas Eve and, and watching it over the holidays and it being like, I remember the way version. I remember the way the season one ended and I'm like you know what I'd be good if it ended fucking here yeah. you know where he's it's like you know season. we're lost and, and what can this mean uh, when they see the fucking like the infinity symbol he's like what does that mean danger I would have been fine if it ended right fucking there. Do you think we're yeah. going to end up with the same situation in for Witcher 2, season 2? Witcher is a show I have never watched. Leslie is a humongous fan of it, but I have never watched it. I tried watching it, and uh, because it's the mandate of Netflix to shoot everything in 4K, the 4K does not treat the lighting well. It looks too fake and costumey to me. So I don't find that it works. I'll give season two a shot on its own. Do you think because, it's frame you know, rate? It's better review. Pardon? Do you think it's the frame no, rate? No, it's the lighting. The lighting, it's too bright. The HDR messes with it so that, that like their armor looks fake plasticky, like it's part of a costume. Doesn't so look can, like it's in a real world. But they can get like away costume. with that in movies? Pardon? But they can get away with that in movies? I don't, uh, no, they can't. And so they don't. What would so be the difference? I, I'm going to bring this all home and say that Lost in Space season three is so goddamn boring that you guys are talking about the frame rate and lighting <laughs> of The Witcher. That yeah, should that, that should it. encompass perfectly what, what would you think score about Lost it. in Space season three. Well, I want to end it on my thoughts on something positive about it that I think it says something though that the show is so positive that um, it looks nice. Like we can't even muster up an angry opinion at it, and we're watching <laughs> complain. Uh, that it's like we've been complaining the whole time what are you talking about i know about? but it's like we're not with the same vitriol like, we don't hatred. care as much as no, we do about yeah. long time. well that's but, because it doesn't it hasn't it hasn't given me something to hate it hasn't given me anything it, how did you guys make it because i didn't even watch the whole series how did you guys make you it didn't watch it the whole season i i said i watched um like a few parts of the episodes of season one i watched uh few whole episodes of, of season two it was something i watched as my dad watched it and but three the plot is never too complicated so you can jump in season three i watched in its entirety from okay, episode one okay. to episode six fully and it didn't feel taxing it never really felt like work uh it, there no. wasn't really much going on so i'm I, like okay, i agree I'll watch it and i finished it in a day it didn't feel like exhausting or no satisfying yeah. so i agree it's there's something to be said about making something a product that's positive but um, forgettable and not exhausting it like knows how useless it is <laughs> <laughs> so All right. it's like there's something to be admired about its lack of despite its galactic scale its lack of um ambition out of 10 right, so. robots what would you rate it four and a half rob yeah, for for as much as I've watched, which is as much as I'm gonna watch. Uh, yeah, I give it a I give it a five because it it at least gets a, a pass. Kind that... thumbs down. What's that? A kind thumbs down. It's like yeah, that's a good way to put where it. they're like, uh, I liked parts of it, but I can't recommend it. Yeah, I give I it a six. I can't recommend it, but it, it 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 didn't achieve what it set out to do. But I saw that they were trying. It's fun, but it's it, it, eh. What are your hopes for like anything involved with this series? The the actors, the characters, what Netflix decides to do afterwards, the lessons learned. Um, I for Netflix one, doesn't think, learn uh, lessons when it comes to this kind of thing. It it yeah. go, just goes here's money and hopes for the best. Do yep. you think that they'll do a big galactic sci-fi story like this again? Even oh, they on keep this doing level? that. I, yes, yeah. I I'd say know. no. I I'd say they're they want to watch Apple. What, they want to see if Apple can figure out foundation. Did did you see another life? They they've done that. I I don't know what that no, is. That's no, uh, what's her name? Uh, Kate Sackoff. Katie okay. Sackoff. Oh, yeah. No, but that to me is I like love that series level where it's kind of like a B list. Like this had A list production values. Like yes, Game of Thrones that you want for nothing on this show. Like it feels like they could go anywhere, do anything. Nothing seems like it's cut for budget at all. The set design is outstanding, actually. That's one thing that I'd say about yep. the show. It's as good or better than the big budget $100 million that the original flop movie was. Um, the acting isn't as good, um, but they don't have to try as hard. 
Um, but like for production value, this was greenlit in the era of like Marco Polo and first season of Stranger Things, oh, where Marco they're like Polo anything could be a hit. Sorry, um, I just enjoyed no. it. I and yeah. to a certain point, and then it was just forgettable. Yeah, there's a second season, not good. Or I just wasn't into it. I think I started watching it, and I was just like, eh. And I think. Uh, but you said it was good. That the first that season, the whole series. I watched the whole first season and I enjoyed it. I started getting into se- season two, and then at some point, I was just like, "It's it's lost my interest." Yeah. Um, the next show that will probably be adapted, uh, and Amazon has been trying to do it, and I hope they don't succeed. The Wheel of is, Time. Uh, because of the success of the Wheel of Time, they're trying to uh, do Mass Effect. Oh um, yes, please. No, because we saw the Wheel of Time and we saw the results of the Wheel of Time. I know, time. don't ruin Mass Effect. Hopefully they hit it out of the park. Well, you know, when you have <laughs> Redditors that are like, uh, well, gee, the Wheel of Time wasn't very good, but I'm willing to give them a shot to do a benefit of the doubt. It's like, no, I don't want to like give the benefit but of you the, never know. the best sci-fi story told in the last 20 years. It's like, this needs to be like Last of Us style HBO level. And HBO, by the way, I guess are the only people left trying on TV. Who's, or something? who's, like, who's doing on? Halo? Uh, Paramount, Paramount, actually. Yeah, Paramount of all people. That's going to be their uh, big, uh, their big blockbuster. I, I, it's been long in development, which is usually a good sign. I honestly think it because it means they didn't run into it took the time to get it right. It does. It looks phony to me. Yeah, too. I think it looks good. It looks to me. It looks uh, to me. It looks fake. Like those, what, the very good, but like I said, expanse level where it's like B. I know expanse has kind of gone up to the level, but it's never more than like schlock. Like I want a list, top tier, cream of the crop type story. Like this deserves the Mass Effect deserves the Lord of the Rings I, treatment. I agree. Yeah, I don't think we'll get that if Amazon adapts the show. And that was our Lost in Space Season 3 recap, <laughs> review, whatever. Please go to watchandcomplain.com, watch our episodes, like our stuff, subscribe to our stuff, follow our stuff, follow us individually. I'm the Phil Online on everything. On the street. Yeah, on the street. Just follow us home and don't <laughs> talk to our children. Don't give us COVID. Yeah, don't give us COVID. <laughs> That's the important one. That's the reason why we're doing it this way. <laughs> Bye. I'm proud of us for doing this though. Yeah, me too. I'm awesome. <laughs>